everyone, this is Kyle from We Tech Care Review, and today I'm going to show you how you can build a birthdays app within Microsoft Teams, Microsoft SharePoint, and we also use Power Automate Flow for this also. But let me just quickly give you an overview of this app that we're going to build. So as you can see, we've got a team here, we've got a calendar view of people's birthdays. We can also add those birthdays here. So you can add that new item and then we've also got the post tab which will automatically receive reminders seven days before someone's birthday and also on the actual birthday now with this app you know this can be used within your company to manage your employees birthdays so you never forget any this can also be used for personal use you know i've, I've got a lot of friends who don't use facebook i actually don't use facebook myself but i know for a long time that is the go-to place to find out if someone's birthday is coming up so this could just also be used as personal use so you've got your own little birthdays app and you'll never forget a friend's birthday now let's just get straight into building this here we go if you come to Microsoft Teams and if you select join or create a team, so we're going to create a new blank team for this and we'll just create that from scratch, make that private and then we're going to call this birthdays demo create. Okay, nice work. Now, just I guess here you can add more members if you want. For now, I'm just going to leave that as myself. Okay, so now that birthdays demo team's created, now we can add those tabs and we can set up the list and the power automate. So, first things first, what I'm going to do is if you click the ellipsis and then you select open in SharePoint, that's going to open the SharePoint site that's just been created attached to this birthdays demo team. Now, if you want to come to site contents and then we will create a new list and we can do this from blank and then we can call this birthdays. Okay, so we can rename this title field to just be called name. And then what we want to do is we want to add a new column and we want to make that a date. And then we just want to call this birthday and keep that as date and time. Okay. We can leave that as is. That looks good. And we'll save that as birthday. Now, the next thing, what we want to do is if you select the view up at the top here, and if we create a new view, and then we want to create a calendar view, birthday calendar. And then with the start and the end date, we can just leave that as the birthday date field that we've added and um, keep that as a public view. And then the title of the items in the calendar can be titled because that'll show their name. Okay, so let's create this view. There we can see that. And now also, if you want to set current view as default, because this is where it will show in Teams, so we can see that tab with the birthday view. Now, next, what we want to do. is we want to create our Power Automate flow. So if you can open a new tab and go to Power Automate, let's bring that in here, and then you click New Flow, and then we want to do a Scheduled Cloud Flow. Now we'll call this Birthday Demo. And what we want to do is we want to set this to repeat every day because every day it'll check each birthday person on the list if that birthday is today or if it's going to be however many days we set. I'm going to set this as seven days time. It will then send the reminder. Uh, so let's create that birthday demo. Okay. So we want to add a get item step. And we want to come to that SharePoint site that we made, uh, come to your SharePoint list that you made, and then that's going to get the items. So I'm just going to rename this. Get all birthdays. Okay, next, what we want to do is we want to add an apply to each. So that's going to loop through each of the records that we get from this get item. So in this value here, we want to put the value, the list of items that's going to loop through every birthday record. And then what we want to do first is we want to add a condition. Let's put that wrong. We want to add a condition. And in here, we want to check if the birthday, so this first condition is going to check if the birthday is within seven days. So in this here, what we want to add is this 
format date time now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to paste this in but i will add this to the description of the video um but if i just come in select expression i'm just going to paste this here and what we want to do is we're basically formatting the date and time we're getting the birthday of this record that it's on and then we're just going to format that into this icon format so it needs to be in this format to check against the seven day date which we're going to add now so if i just click ok on that that's going to add that there now what we're testing is if this date is equal to and then i am just going to add the code again as i said i'll put this in the description of the video uh, so we're going to also do a format date time and then we're going to do an add days to utc now and then we're going to plus seven so here is where you can set that margin you can do it by three days before i've set it to seven days before and obviously this format date needs to be the same format as what we're checking it against so basically this is going to get the, the birthday of that person it's going to check it against the date in seven days from now if that matches then we're going to post into the channel so i'm just going to post into the team's channel again you can do whatever in this true value you can send emails you can you can do whatever you want to do if that birthday matches so now if i change that to channel i'm just going to accept birthdays demo and then the general channel so in the message here i'm just going to get the title so that'll say the name i'm just going to say birthday is coming up in and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to take that i'll change that to coming up soon and then i'm going to put the expression of their birthday now in this message so i'm just going to take the one that i took from here so that just gets their birthday but i'm just going to change this format at the end so in the message it sets the format as how i want to see it um, as i said the format needs to be the other way the american version it's for the comparisons um okay so that's that now that's that first condition done so next what we want to do is add another condition to make sure that we check again today so as i said it'll remind in seven days and then when it gets to the actual birthday it'll send another reminder just to make sure that we didn't forget so again with this one we're just going to use the first birthday date that we use for this which is to format the date and time of the birthday into that american format so that can go there and then basically i'm going to add after that is just to do it against the day so is equal to we come to our expression and then there we go so we're going to do format date time utc now we don't need to add the seven days because we want it to be today and then we're going to change that into that date format okay so there's that next what we want to do is we just still want to put that success message in so if i just put this message into the channel birthday is, is today i'll just change this is today and then it'll show that birthday there okay so that's the power automate flow done just save this now all we need to do is we want to add all of this to teams so if you want to come over to your team that you created so there's the birthdays demo um, and then what we want to do is we want to add a new tab here so if you just search for list save that which will give us the option to select the list add an existing list and then it should pop up the list that's related to this team so birthdays so now if i just select this we can now see that there's the calendar view and that's going to show people's birthdays now what i want to do as well is if you just come back to the sharepoint site and if you select on new and then what you can do is if you copy the link for this new so i want to be able to add these records just through teams as well actually one other thing i've just realized just as a quick fix if you come to the list settings and come to advanced settings we just want to turn off those attachments because it's just clogging up our view so i'm just going to disable the attachments on the list again it, you know in your case you might want to keep the attachments on um well, i'm just going to go back to birthdays so now if i select new there's how we can enter those people i'm just going to copy this link and i'm going to come back to microsoft teams and i'm going to add another tab here and i'm going to click website now if i paste this link and 
untick that we don't need that but if i paste that link here and then save this what this is going to do is now you can see it's added the new item here in the team so literally we can manage this whole birthdays functionality from the team we can add new list the uh, new people to the the thing here we can see the calendar view of the people coming up and then we'll also receive the posts when it's someone's birthday in seven days or if it's birthday today so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to set this birthday to be today um so when we run this and then i'm just going to add a few more as well just so we can test this out um so let me just test this as well so i'll put kyle two i'm also going to put the birthday in seven days time so we'll put that on the 17th and again just because of the the time difference obviously as i said i'm based in australia as i understand the times on these are set to utc so i'll just do one for tomorrow and yesterday as well Okay, now let's test this out. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come back to the Power Automate flow and I'm just going to run a test on this. So I'm just going to click test, run it manually. And now let's see that loop through those records. So the test is running. Looks to be working okay. Perfect, the flow ran successful. So now if I just come back to this chat, there you can see Kyle 3 birthday is today. So that's the length of the first. If I just quickly check that birthday's calendar. So Kyle 3, so that's the 11th, yeah. So obviously, again, with the American date time format difference, I've had to set that. But obviously, you can make those changes relevant to your time zone. But there you can see, so there, that's going to trigger every day. It's going to loop through each of those person's birthdays. And we can also see when that's coming up, and it's going to send reminders. Uh, I hope this, this tutorial helps. If there's any other ideas that you've got that you would like us to build within Teams, within SharePoint and using the Power Platform, please just put it into the comments. Uh, we tend to, we, you know, we do answer every single comment. Also, if you do get issues with this, please just put it into the comment. We'll get back to you. We'll help you fix any issues that you're having. Um, and please like and subscribe to the channel and take care. Thank you.